Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I come to you with a review on one of my uh, pair of pearl earrings from this brand called Miki Moto. Now just a little background on pearls. Uh, there are a few types of pearls available uh, out there in the market. Uh, the number one being natural pearls, which is like a pearl from a oyster that is harvested straight from the ocean. And then the other popular type is a cultured pearl, which is what uh, the earring that I'm going to share today with you is. So um, Mikimoto was a Japanese uh, inventor and uh, he created the the cultured pearls, which is the most common type of pearl that we see today. Uh, this is a cultured Akuya pearl. Uh, so it's from the seawater. Uh, there are cultured pearls from fresh water too, but this is uh, salt water pearls, Akuya pearls, cultured pearls. And then there's other varieties like Tahitian pearls, which are usually a black in black color. Then, um, you know, there is also um, pearls that are South Sea pearls, which are very usually much larger in size and they come from different oceans and seas around the world. The Tahitian pearls will come from different places in the world in Polynesia. And then uh, there is also another kind of pearl, which is a natural pearl and those cannot be cultured as far as I am aware. And uh, those are called the Basra pearls. So uh, the Basra pearl is the pearl that was very popular with the Mughals in India in the 1800s. And uh, those were harvested from, you know, the Persian Gulf. Um, and those are only natural. So those are probably uh, the top of the list. And those are very, very, very expensive and very hard to get nowadays. So I do have a few, uh, very few pieces of Basra pearls in my collection. So um, if you'd like, I'd, I'd like to share that. Uh, if anyone's interested, I can share that with you. Those are ancestral pieces. So they, um, they were given to me uh, by some of my ancestors. Now, um, talking about Mikimoto, uh, this is easily available in the US. Mikimoto has stores in uh, New York and um, well, that's the one that I'm aware of. And then I think in LA too. And then it's also sold by uh, retailers like Saks Fifth, Ave uh, Fifth Avenue. And uh, you know, I think Nordstrom sells it too. But if you're looking for really uh, high end pieces, uh, I would recommend you going to the Mikimoto website or directly, you know, ordering from there or then going to one of their stores in New York. The New York store is beautiful. I've been there. So let's get started. Um, here's what the box looks like. And um, this is what it opens up to. And a very sturdy, nice packaging as with all luxury brands. Um, full points on that. I'm going to try to do this one handed and ta-da. So here's what my earrings look like. So it's got a nice, I don't know what this is, satin or silk lining, not sure, very soft. And it's got a nice felt uh, piece on where the earrings rest. So uh, just a little background, these earrings are rendered in a rose gold or pink gold and they have 0.29, so almost 0.30 cents of diamonds up there, uh, which are probably in the range of F to G is what I've been told. Um, very sparkly, beautiful. And then the pearl themselves are 8 mm or a little over 8 mm in size. And these are Akoya pearls. So beautiful piece. Um, I like wearing this day to night. Uh, it goes with a lot of outfits. Very, very classic piece. There's nothing trendy about it at all. Um, you know, this, this design's been out forever. Um, and you can find the same design in a lot of 
different um, you know vendors or different uh, retail stores so here is what the back looks like uh, the Mickey Moto has that oyster if it would focus um, you know you can see it's branded Mickey Moto and again as I said this is 18 karat rose gold which is a little uh, coppery in um, shade to a uh, to yellow gold and uh, the shine, the sheen on the Mickey Moto Pearls is, I think, unparalleled uh, with other brands. And uh, I have a few other pieces from Mickey Moto. So I'm, um, again, for pearls, I am loyal to Mickey Moto because um, I've always found, uh, you know, the quality on their jewelry is really high quality and their customer service is very good too. So that's pearl number one, and then that's pearl number two. And that's what it looks like. So um, the cost of pearls uh, is dependent on very many factors. One is uh, the size, of course, on how large the pearl is. So this is a eight, uh, size 8 mm I think for Okoya pearls a good size is probably closer 9 or 10 mm because those are rarer um, the smaller in size you go you know the the more affordable the pearl gets um, and then the other thing that is important is obviously you know how round the pearl is how perfectly spherical it is um, you know how thick the nacre is and then, of course, the the luster of the pearl, which is, um, you know, how shiny, how mirror-like, or um, how few blemishes are on that pearl. So how shiny that pearl is. So these are the factors that uh, affect a pearl. Uh, pearls are pretty soft on the Mohs hardness scale, I think like a two or a three. So they're very easily scratched. They're very high maintenance piece. They're not something that, you know, you can wear and, you know, like um, do workouts in, go on a hike on, you know, it's more uh, for, you know, places where you go to a restaurant, sit down, attend a gala, that, that sort of thing. Um, so this is what the earrings look like. Beautiful earrings. Now, um, along with these earrings, I also have the certificate for these earrings. Um, I have covered up some of my personal information up there, but uh, you can get this certificate from Mickey Moto. I'm not sure um, if they are charging for this now. That's what I heard. I think it's $400, which in my opinion is, is really too much for, you know, a certificate that should be given with pearl jewelry at this price point anyways. So uh, here's what it is. So it's a cultured Akoya pearl earring. And then that's the size, so 8 to 8.5 mm. The color is white, luster is good. Mickey Moto quality grade is A+. So um, Mickey Moto has an interesting quality grade, just like with diamonds, you know, you go, um, you know, from bottom to up. They have their grading system for pearls, which starts at, I think it's an A1, that's the lowest, or an A, and then it goes all the way up to a triple a which is like the finest quality um just to be aware that you know mickey moto does have a lower um brand of pearls which is called blue lagoon um and i think that is that was sold at some generic um jewelers and like malls and and that kind of thing um i personally have not bought anything from mickey moto blue lagoon um, and they, I think, you know, they will not deal with those purchases because this is directly from uh, the Mickey Moto boutique. So the boutique pieces are different from the, the Blue Lagoon pieces and they're not treated the same. So I think the quality on those pearls is definitely a lot lower. So I think those might be like an A1 or even lower quality than that. Um, it says the diamond. It does not say the diamond on there which is 
you know like the color and the clarity but i from what i know and i've spoken to them is that they usually use just a vs or vvs quality and then it's always like a d to a def and i think the 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 minimum they will use is ag color so um and i would trust them on that then the setting or clasp is 18 karat pink gold and then that's the design number so for anyone who's interested in these earrings these are from the morning dew uh, collection now uh here are a few tips for your uh you know for a Mickey Moto purchase uh, while I recommend buying it directly from the boutique, I would also not be opposed to uh, buying if you're if you're looking for pearl quality A plus or like a double A, I wouldn't be opposed to purchasing it from a Nordstrom, mainly because uh, you know Nordstrom customer service is perfect, and I've also heard that these certificates that um, are now costing four hundred dollars. Um, if you purchase from Mickey Moto, Nordstrom will waive that cost for you and, and be able to get you a certificate uh, if it's above a certain uh, value. So these pearls cost $4,550. So I think around that value or more, I think Nordstrom will be able to secure the certificate directly from Mickey Moto from you. And then the other thing about Mickey Moto is that there is no returns as far as I'm aware. Um, unless it's an online purchase, if you purchase from the store, I don't think you, uh, they have any return policy. So, um, you know, if you're unsure about a certain purchase, these are not, um, cheap purchases. These are expensive purchases. So think it through before, you know, making the plunge and buying, uh, something from Mickey Moto. Uh, so as I said, the really high end pieces that are in, grade qualities you know of triple a um those pieces or they also have something called as mickey moto i forgot what it's called like it's it's like their very very best um quality of pearls and those are available in very limited quality uh, quantities and those are only available through their stores so if you are looking for something like that I would highly recommend uh, buying it directly from the boutique. If not, Nordstrom's a great place to to purchase this because you know any any problems you can talk to Nordstrom and Nordstrom is for me personally always you know been a superior uh, customer service. So um, here are my tips on Mickey Moto. Now just as a comparison, I do have some uh, you know some old Mickey Moto earrings which I shared with you in an earlier video. And here's what they look like in comparison to these. So let's look at these together. Now these are also Akoya pearls in a much smaller size. So let's look at the luster on this. So this is in 14 karat yellow gold as opposed to the ones that I'm showing you today. But can you see the luster on these? It's so mirror-like, isn't it? This is so many years later versus the luster on these which one do you think is a better luster i'm not sure both are beautiful in their own right but uh, you can see the difference in size over here between the two earrings so look at how big this pearl size is which is a 8 or 8.5 mm versus uh, those and this is a great comparison between the two. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you would like to uh, see a video on my Basra pearls, and I also have a few uh, natural pearls um, in my collection, uh, please do let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to share. Um, thank you so much for watching. Bye now.